Hello, this is Nindy Kerr, and welcome to another Nindy's Creative Corner video. Today we will be learning about stamping multiple stamps with our Stamparatus. We will be using the Tasteful Touches stamp set and four different inks. So let's get started. Um, this is my second one. Here's my first one that I was practicing with. Um, so I thought there was, well I stamped the four corner ones first and then I thought there was too much room in the corner and I wanted another feather in there so I came up with this one. So and I'll show you how to do this one. We are using a four inch by five and a quarter inch piece of very vanilla. And even though this is a clean stamp set, I still have my foam mat in my Stamparatus. And this is a small grid paper. And I always line up, leaving at least one inch here and at least one inch here. But lately I've been leaving two inches here. I don't know why, but as long as it's lined up, so that you can reline it up if you need to. And I like to have just a tinge of the line showing on each of the two edges. It's important to have a large magnet here and a large magnet here because that's the parts that's most likely to pull away. And we'll put this in the middle. Well, no, because we're going to do the middle one first. So, get your stamp and try to center it. And I'm getting it close to the edge. Let's look at it. See, there's only a little bit of an edge on the rubber. And move that so we can see better whether it's centered or not. I mean, sometimes I move it so a line is in the center, but I didn't this time. And we'll use Magenta Madness, which is one of the new in colors. I like to pull this all the way out. Just make sure you've gotten all the sides. And if you get a little ink on your thing, just wipe it off with your Simply Chamois. I guess mine is extra wet. Alrighty. So we will stamp and I like to just put my whole hand on it and get a perfect stamp. Now we are going to rotate the cardstock line it up in the exact same space ink up our stamp again and another perfect stamp this time we will clean off the stamp Times like this, I don't even bother putting the um, simply chamois back in its case. Okay, we will use the Bermuda Bay ink this time. Thank you. 
and then we will again rotate our cardstock. It's a little lighter. It's one advantage of the Stamparatus is if you don't get it dark enough the first time, you can redo it with no problem. All right, so we'll clean it off again. this way. This time we'll use Gorgeous Grape. Which I've decided I really like this color combination. Yeah, I guess sometimes I do it just with the things still in. But I tend to get more ink on the plate. I guess we got a little tinge off. And I think we're going to ink it up again. And we will rotate it again. This time we will sneak it over Tinge so that we get it all the way on. Okay, there we go. we will do our words. We will stamp these in Misty Moonlight, which is another one of the new in colors. too hard. Yeah, you still have to watch out for the ring around the rubber. And I guess I didn't notice that. So, let's go see what we can do to embellish it. Okay, we're going to color them with the dark Bermuda Bay blends, dark Highland Heather, and dark Magenta Madness. And I guess this is a really old one, but we'll use it anyway. And I'm using the brush tip as opposed to the fine tip. Mm 
Okay, I'll go do this one first. And by the way, don't use your scissors for this. Oops. As it damages the tip. And I'll put the last one. Okay, we are going to make our Bermuda Bay card base. You could use any of the four colors you wanted. I'm going to try out my brand new stamp and seal. It comes in this package and has little notches for you to pull and tear. Well, technically, I should put those things on last. Okay, this has a removable tip make sure the where the opening is and we'll just center this. Okay, and there's our card that we made with our Stamparatus. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my newsletter for more crafting projects, tips and tricks. Thanks, bye.